simply known as Sam. She found the drum at an early age, or possibly it found her. On the inside, you the show. Out here, going to be demonstrating. When I found the drum, uh, I was a kid looking for something. I mean, I was a runaway, I was in the street, I was blah, blah, blah. But uh, I was, I was looking for something and I needed to find something. I think it was really important. You know, I'd worked with horses, which was good for a while, and uh, it was more people, I guess, that I was running from, or, or I'm not really sure. But anyway, when I first saw the motor drum, it was just like someone slapped me and said, you're here. You know, a lost kid looking for something, hand them a sport for a living. I mean, hand a, hand a person who had it made when they were a kid a sport, and they could rule the world. And uh, it saved me. I think things like that save a lot of people in this world. I've been here my whole life. I was lucky. I found it as a kid. And, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, people have to get married and have kids, and uh, somebody has to stay and ride and have the dogs. So I held up my end. I think what's really good now is that people are uh, realizing how much uh, having a woman or a girl in a crew can add to an organization. I mean, I know that the drums are going to do well whether I'm around or not, but uh, we make a little bit more money maybe, or we get some more extra kids, or I bring a little bit something extra to it, or maybe they'll come a fifth time instead of just a fourth time. Or, but uh, I think that in a lot of businesses and a lot of areas of the industry, women are coming to the forefront because of that. They attract attention, they can handle it, you know, they bring good attention if you pick the right person. And a good, strong woman is a backbone of any organization. Everybody knows that, you know what I mean? Behind the best man. It's true, it is a good woman. And to let them have the forefront where they can really run with their talents and stuff, I think it's about time. And I think we're going to see some good stuff out of a lot of really good women that are around now. So we'll all be watching to see. One of the worst accidents I ever had, I was riding a motorcycle that I knew there was something wrong with. And uh, we didn't have any parts. You know, there was, we checked the whole motorcycle over. We couldn't find what it was and we didn't have enough parts to start to swap. We wanted to change the front end and didn't have enough pieces. So I kept on, my, I'm not, I've been around the longest and the most experienced, but I'm not the greatest this or the best that, but I can ride machines that other people can't ride that shouldn't be ridden. And it was my choice, and I rode the machine because I didn't want to shut the show down, and uh, I guess I hit a bump up on the wall and the front end broke and dropped the leaf screen on the Indian and locked the motorcycle up and threw me and the bike came around on top and hit me. And uh, when a 500-pound motorcycle hits me, it usually breaks me in half. And uh, once again, <laughs> um, I guess I'd like people to remember me. It's how they know me now, I guess. I just look like I'm having as much, if not more, fun than they are. And that's what most of them say when they leave, that it looks like I'm having way too much fun. And uh, I, I was talking with Wally and the other guys, and, and I said, uh, I'll never forget the first day I got handed a $5 was paid for the night. And I just couldn't believe, God, we get to ride in and we get paid to. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's, it's just a really good thing. Okay, uh, being inducted into the Hall of Fame, uh, we are really trying to get Sonny in, Sonny Pelequin. He was the gentleman who taught me to ride, who took me off the street and gave me my life. And uh, that, he was the one that we were really working on. And uh, a friend of mine wrote the letter and she said, and, and you should add Sam too at the end before she's gone. So uh, I told her I was hanging around for more than a couple of weeks, but it was very nice and they included me and it was an honor to be included as a motor drone rider, to be recognized and as a, a woman out here, you know, in the field that people ask me where I come from and I've been here my whole life. <laughs> so, I said, I don't know, where, where were you? But uh, it's, all, it's all good. There are a lot more women out here now. There are other people for, for those of us who have been here to hang with. And, uh, and to talk to, and it's a pleasure to see all these strong women, positive women, uh, being friendly instead of backstabbing. I think it's a real positive experience, the whole thing, all the way around. And uh, for me, it's a pleasure, personally. I'm, I'm happy to see it. I don't think there's anything better in life than finding something you're passionate about and getting to spend your life doing it. But, you know, people look at that and think, wow, that's so exciting, that's really wonderful. And it is, and there's nothing better. You're in the moment that, but then again, then there's set up and tear down. This whole building comes into pieces and goes up on the wagons and the guy has to, have to set it up and tear it down before and after every spot. And I set, it, set up, I keep saying, and I set up and tore down my whole life. I mean, I, that's how I got my job. I proved I could carry walls, you know? So for me, the passion keeps me going. Uh, the fact that nobody ever leaves unhappy, that people get more for their money's worth here. 
You know, that people come up that are in their 50s and 60s and say, hey, you know, my grandpa took me to see this when I was like four years old, and I don't really remember what I saw, but I remember I was scared to death, and I'm bringing my kids to see it now. That's as much of the reason that I'm here as anything else. I would ride if there was no crowd at all, but the fact that those people change while they're upstairs with us, for those 10 minutes or 15 minutes that we have them, they're smiling, they know it's real, they know they're getting more than their money's worth, and they always leave happy. You know, and I hope that they don't remember what they saw at, you know, 40 years from now and uh, bring their grandkids up to see it. I hope there's still drums left for someone to ride and for the kids to see. That's, that's what I would really like the best. So I've been very lucky in my life, and I hope that people remember me for that, and I hope there's a drum left for them to remember me at while they're watching the show.